Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you a quick and effective way to transform your face into a steel etching on paper currency, including your name. This is an update of tutorials I've done many years ago on much earlier versions of Photoshop. I've included a Photoshop template that you could download. It includes this base image and the channel that we'll use to place our face onto the money. I've also included a link to the font that we'll use for our name. Both files are located in my video's description or project files. Before we begin, if you're not already a subscriber to Blue Lightning TV, click that subscribe button to let you know as soon as I upload new Photoshop tutorials. Open a photo of a face that you'd like to use for this project. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock. To ensure that your results will look similar to mine, let's crop our image to a specific height and resolution. Open your Crop tool and click the Clear button to clear out the amounts for the width, height, and resolution. In the Height field, type in 1000 pixels, and for its resolution, type in 150 for its pixels per inch. Leave the width empty. The width amount will be filled in automatically once we crop our image. Just make sure there's at least this much room on either side of the face, if not more. Drag each side in or out until you like how the face is cropped. Then press Enter or Return twice. We'll make a copy of it so we always have the original subject intact. Press Ctrl or Command J. Desaturate all its color by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift U. To automatically adjust its contrast, go to Image and Auto Contrast. To bring out details in the darkest tones, go back to Image, Adjustments, and Shadows Highlights. Make the shadows amount 20%. Then click OK or press Enter or Return. Open your Move tool by pressing V on your keyboard. Next, we'll make a pattern to create the look of a steel engraving. Create a new document and make the width and the height 1500 pixels each and the resolution 150 pixels per inch. Open the Background Contents list and click Custom. Click the box and type into the hexadecimal field 80 three times to give us a 50% gray tone. Then click OK and Create. Go to Filter, Sketch, and Halftone Pattern. Make the type Line, the size 1, and the contrast 50. Go back to Filter, Distort, and Wave. Make the number of generators 1, the wavelength 159 and 160, the amplitude 20 and 48, and the scale 100%. The type is Sign, and Repeat Edge Pixels. Make a copy of it. We'll invert it by pressing Ctrl or Command I. Go to Edit, Transform, and rotate 90 degrees clockwise. Open back your subject and drag it onto the tab of the pattern. Without releasing your mouse or pen, press and hold the Shift key as you drag it down and release. Holding Shift kept your subject centered over the pattern. Unlock the background and drag your subject below it. Make the top layer active and change its blend mode to overlay. Make the other pattern active and change its blend mode to overlay as well. Make the bottom layer active and shift click the top layer to make all of the layers active. Click the icon at the upper right and click Convert to Smart Object. Doing this allows us to affect the look of our steel engraving non-destructively. Drag it onto the tab of the Money template and without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down and release. 
Change its blend mode to linear burn. Open the channels panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and Channels. Control click or command click the inner frame thumbnail to make a selection of its shape. Open back the layers panel and click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the face. To reposition the face inside the shape, click the chain link icon to unlink the face with the layer mask. Doing this allows us to resize and reposition either of them independently of the other. Make the face active and reposition it. Next, we'll adjust its gamma levels, which basically adjusts the relative bright and dark values of the midtones. Click the adjustment layer icon and click Exposure. We want the exposure to affect just our subject and not the money base. But since adjustment layers affect all the layers below them in the Layers panel, we'll need to clip it to the subject. To do this, click the Clipping Mask icon or go to Layer and Create Clipping Mask. While each of these three sliders do affect the overall tones of an image, each one has a greater influence over specific tonal ranges. The exposure slider has a greater effect on the lighter tones of an image, while the offset affects the darker tones more. The gamma slider has the greatest effect over the midtone range of your images. Since I want to lighten the midtones of my image, I'll type into the gamma correction 2.46. Lastly, we'll add the name. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Open your Horizontal Type tool and click the Foreground Color. When the Color Picker opens, click the darkest color of the bill to pick up that color. This will be the color of the name. After you install the font I provided, type in Legal Tender and click it. Make the size 13 points, the aliasing sharp, and Center Alignment. Press Z on your keyboard to open the Zoom tool and drag it over the ribbon under the face to zoom into it. Press T to open back your Type tool and click on the ribbon. Type out the name and open back your Move tool. Press Ctrl or Command T to open the Transform tool. At the top, click the Warp Transform icon. Open the list of warp presets and click Arc. For the bend, type in 17. Center the name over the ribbon and click Enter or Return. To fit your entire image back onto your screen, press Ctrl or Command 0. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.